do. These things look dope. I don't know what it is about these old Polaroid cameras. I just think they look kind of cool. I like the accordion look of things. That's one of the things that I really enjoy about my Mamiya C330 is just that accordion look. But we're not talking about aesthetics, unfortunately. I have a gripe. Not even a gripe necessarily, because it's probably me. Just something I've noticed. I have the worst luck when it comes to instant film. Just the worst luck. This is actually a piece that I've been working on writing for the past few months because it's something I've noticed. It's just that my luck is horrible. I just got back from a little trip, took over the weekend, and I brought this guy with me and loaded in here. I had some Polaroid 669 film that expired in 1990. So yes, that's on me, but I was told it works great. It was unopened, it was refrigerated. I was like, what could go wrong? And so I go up there and I'm ready. And I'm ready to take my first photo. Okay, okay, so now I gotta, I gotta pull it out. So I tried to do that. Okay, let's actually start from the beginning. Loading this film into here, it smelled like dog shit. Like it just, it smelled like just chemicals. Uh, here's the cartridge. You can see there is some clear signs of rust and it just smelled horrible. And it just, it's crinkly. Like it's just, these are not good sounds. I got stuff flying out of me as we speak. So yeah, it was not, it was not meant to be, but I had hopes. So I went to go take my first photo and I pull it out and I only get just the tab. Like, <laughs> You're supposed to be able to pull out the full thing and peel the negative apart from the, or no, you're supposed to be able to peel the emulsion layer away from the film. That obviously did not occur. And looking at it right there, it's pretty clear to tell why. There was obviously some sort of leakage. So yeah, I don't think I spent too much money on this because I got two packs and I think they're maybe like 30 bucks or something like that, I got junk flying out of here. But anyway, point being, that didn't work, whatever. Film that you got that expired, what is that, 31 years ago. That's on you, dude. Yes, this, this is true. But this is just the last time this has happened, okay? Previous time to that, I got myself one of these bad boys. Yeah, everybody has one, everybody loves them. This is like the most, consumer film camera you can find. And I love the idea of this because I love shooting instant film, but it's so expensive. So I bought one of these, like 30 bucks, and I was like, this will be great. Doesn't work. The shutter will work for the first exposure and then everyone after that will just look like nothing. You just get Blake images. Okay, so then I got another one and this one totally worked. I was like, oh, this is fantastic. And then, my buddy was down in Mexico over the summer and he was feeling pretty lonely, whatever, whatever. So I sent him like a little care package full of my Instax. I had like three packages of film in there. It was great. And the package never got to him and it is just gone. It was only like, you know, 50 bucks to ship down there. So that's cool. So there's two Instaxes that don't work. Um, I got this SX70. And you can see that the metal is broken there. Looks like garbage. The first few exposures of this just didn't come out at all. The last cartridge of Polaroid 600 that I shot, also the like the last three, I think, exposures came out blank. They just stopped working. Last time I tried to buy film in a shop, not online, and just picked up a cartridge or two cartridges of film and just pieced out bottom, obviously. And then when I got home, I noticed I picked up iType instead of 600. And if you don't know the difference, 600 has the battery in it, iType does not. So if you're using like an older camera, then you have to have the 600 type because it has the battery. No big deal. Went back, tried to return it. They would not accept a return. So I just spent a bunch of money for something I can't use. They won't accept a return. They're dead to me. Point being is that, um, Instant film and me, or just we just don't get along. And this was like 
This was something I was like really looking forward to doing because I thought, you know, I thought, and that's my issue is I thought, but no, I, I just figured it'd be cool to explore just a different visual look and just see what kind of different crazy colors or looks I could get on the emulsion. But like I say all the time, because most of the film I shoot is expired. Most of the things I do are very questionable at best. It's all for the experience. And even if it's like the worst experience ever, which this was obviously not the worst experience ever, but it was just like a huge letdown and kind of a waste of money, but whatever. You know, you still learn something from that. You pick something up and I learned it's a gamble, you know, uh, the highest highs and the lowest lows. Like I've shot some film that I was like, this is just going to be fried and useless. And then I get some of the best pictures that I've ever gotten. And other times like this, I just think it'll be fun. And it turns out it was not. Um, however, let me see if I can get this out. I will say the smells that I, oh yeah. Well, first of all, here we go. So, yeah. And I know you can't smell this because smell of vision never really took off, but let's just be fortunate that smell of vision never really took off because this is just most heinous. Like this is just, I, you know, <laughs> People know about Yashica Electros, uh, and those cameras were designed to hold like a very large mercury cell battery. And in my day, I've chiseled out many mercury batteries that were just corroded past repair, and I've inhaled a lot of mercury because of that. So, whatever. But, like, that's not a good smell. That is a very bad, that just smells like toxicity. Like, that just smells like death. Um, it's like working in Chernobyl trying to get that thing out of there. This smells worse than that. <laughs> and I don't think this isn't deadly or anything. So it's just, it's just really old photochemicals, but golly, it smells horrible. Like it just smells wrong. Like it just nature made a mistake here. So yeah, that was my very short lived experience shooting Polaroid peel apart film. But I got this Polaroid land camera. I got like a couple other, like the the square uh, Polaroid ones. I don't know what I'm gonna do with those. Not gonna shoot film through them though. I wasn't anyway, cause like this is just a very expensive hobby. But yeah, that's just a little fun story time with Bronco there. And like I said, I'll probably write a piece about this and have more examples of my failures and misgivings because who doesn't like to listen and revel in someone else's mistakes so i think that'll about do it for today i hope you enjoyed this little video and next video i will probably have better news for you <laughs> but until then uh, make sure you subscribe check out my store so you can buy up a bunch of my cameras and things that I have for sale there. Check out the Instagram. I'm trying to be a little bit more consistent posting on there and uh, send me an email if you have any questions about gear, cameras, film, anything. I know some things and if I don't know things, I know people who know things I don't know. So that's the most important part. But anyway, appreciate you watching and uh, catch you on the next one.